teachers, has this ever happened to you? Maybe you have a Google Doc or a sheet or a slide and you share that Google resource with your students. And when you do, as students begin typing on it and filling in information, it starts to change your resource that you originally had. And as students input information, they can see what all of the other students are typing as well. Well, recently, I shared a video here on my channel all about how to share Google Slides the right way, to share a copy with your students so that way when one student types something or interacts with the slide, it doesn't change everybody else's slide and every other student can't see what's happening. Well, that video has quickly become one of the most popular videos here on my channel. And I've also been getting a lot of questions about well, how do I share my docs and how do I share my sheets and my forums and all these different things? So in this video, I wanna show you how to share a copy of every type of Google resource that you might be using as a teacher. Now, the way I explain this when I'm teaching teachers how to do this is when you share any type of Google resource, whether it's a doc, a slide, a sheet, whatever, it's basically the same thing as going to the copy machine in your school. When you go to the copy machine, you might have a worksheet and you make one copy for each student in your class. Then you keep your original copy so that way you can keep reusing it from year to year and you always have that original copy there. And each of those copies you made for your students, those copies are unique for your students. When one student writes on their worksheet, it's not showing up on the students on the other students' worksheets as well. So basically sharing a copy of a Google resource is the same thing. You want to retain your original copy and you want each of your students to have their own copies. So today I'm going to show you the right way to share a copy of a Google Doc, a Google Sheet, a Google Forum, and then we'll quickly go through Google Slides again. So let's go ahead and jump on my computer and let's get started. So I want to start by showing you how to share a Google, a copy of a Google Doc. And I wanna show you why being able to share a copy is so important. So if I share this doc as it is, um, so I copy the link and I share this link with my students and anytime you want to test how sharing something works just open another browser because right now in Google Chrome I'm logged into my account so anything that I share is going to show up uh, the way that I have it since I'm the owner of these documents I'm going to see them exactly how they are but if I want to see everything the way that my students do it I just need to open up another browser where I'm not logged into my Google account so I'm going to open up another browser and I'm going to paste that link that I just copied. So you'll see that that doc I created is right here. Now the problem is because I did not share a copy of the document, if I type anything here, so if I put my name in and then go back to the original doc in Chrome, let's take a look at what happened you're going to see that my name is now part of the original doc. So if I were to share this doc with my students, every single student who typed something, it would go into my original doc. And maybe that's great if you have a class assignment and you want a team or your entire class collaborating or brainstorming ideas together, but sometimes you just want students to be able to have their own version of a doc or a slide or whatever Google resource you're working in and you want them to be able to input their own responses and answers without it impacting the original document or without all the other students being able to see what they're doing. So if I wanted to share this doc with my students so that they each had their own copy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the link from up here and then I'm gonna go back so I can test it the way my students would see it I'm gonna go back to uh, a different browser and I'm gonna open a new tab and this time I'm gonna copy and paste the link 
And what I'm gonna do is anytime you see a link here, basically it's gonna say document and then you're going to see all these letters and numbers. These letters and numbers are basically the code that represents your Google Doc. And then after all of those letters and numbers, you'll see something, it usually says edit, question mark, USP equals sharing. Now, when you see this, the way it's set up right now, it's saying that you can share this document and anyone that has it has editing permission, which is not what you want. So we're gonna get rid of this back part and we're gonna replace everything from edit all the way to the end with copy. And when you do that, uh, you or your students are going to be prompted to make a copy. You're just gonna click that. Now when we open that, what we see is the worksheet is exactly the same as the original worksheet that I originally created, but you're gonna notice it says copy up here. That's another way to know if your students are working in a copy of the document. And this is what I want you to notice now. This time when I type my name into the correct space, it's not gonna change my original document. Let's go back to Chrome and see that original document. See, even though I typed my name in the copy, it doesn't show up there. So that's all you have to do. Whenever you share your doc with your students, just change that ending where it says edit to copy and they will then have a copy of it that they can edit without the other students being able to see it and without changing your original version. So that's Google Docs. So next up, I'm gonna show you the right way to share a copy of a Google Sheet. And you're gonna find that this is almost exactly the same as the way I just showed you to share a Google Doc. So first, I want to show you what happens if we share this sheet as it is. So I've got this project that I want my students to work on. They're gonna keep track of the number of hours they watch television every week or each day of the week. And then I have a big project that they're going to do with that information. So I want each student to have their own sheet where they can keep track of their data. So if I share this as it is by copying the link, and also I want you guys to know when you click share and you click copy link, it's just taking the link that's up here in the toolbar. It's not creating a different link for you. But when I take that link, and remember we can test it in another browser, Okay, so you'll see here is the sheet. Now if I type in a number of hours for Monday, if I go back to the original sheet, we can see that those hours appeared right here and we don't want that because then each student is not gonna be able to keep track of their own data. So let's go ahead and erase that and then I will show you the right way to share a copy. Now to do this, like I said, it's gonna be almost exactly the same as the way you shared your doc. You're gonna copy this link up here at the top. Let's go back to the other browser and open a new tab, and it's the exact same thing. You've got um, your spreadsheet, and then all these letters and numbers are a code for your specific sheet, and then you've got edit with some other information behind it, and that's saying that everyone who has this link can edit it, which we don't want. So from edit all the way to the end, you're gonna delete that information, and you're going to type copy. And once again, your students are going to be prompted to make a copy. And when they do, you will also see that copy appears up here with the title. So this is another way that you can confirm that your students are working in a copy. And now when I type in the hours watched for Monday, if we go back to my original sheet in Chrome, you'll see that those hours did not appear because that student was working in a copy of their own sheet. So as you can see, there's very little difference between sharing a Google Doc and a Google Sheet, um, but it is gonna be a little bit different with forums. So next we're gonna talk about how to share Google Forms. All right, so we are now in a Google Form that I've created as part of a escape room that my students do. So this is a time travel escape room for Colonial America. And with this, students have all these challenges that they complete, and then they put the final code into the forum to check if their answers are correct. So 
sharing a form is actually a lot easier than sharing a doc, a sheet, or a slide. Now, the first thing I wanna show you is what not to do. Before I had told you in the docs and the sheets, anytime you copy the link that's right here, it's just taking what's up here. But with Google Forms, it's a little bit different and I wanna show you that because if I just copy this link that's up here and then I wanna test it in another browser to see what it looks like for my students, if I just paste that link in here, you're gonna see that I'm actually in editing mode. So I can change anything with the question, the responses, I have all of the editing settings. So you do not want to just copy this link and share it with your students. This time what you're gonna wanna do is click send and you've got a couple of different options that it gives you. If you click the email, you can type your students' email addresses in and it will send them a link and the link that it sends them is one so that they can complete the form without having editing permissions for the questions and answers. So if you type your, their emails in here, you're safe. What I usually do is I just copy the link that's here and I'll show you that in just a second. And this is if you want to embed the form into something. So let's say you have a Google site for your class, you could just embed the form there. And once again, if you embed this link uh, into a site, it's going to be so that your students can complete the form, not edit the form. So like I said, I usually just copy and paste this link for my students, um, whether I post it in Google Classroom or in an email. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can share it, but let me show you if you copy the link that's here, let's open a new tab. If I paste that in, you'll see that the only thing students can do is submit their answer. So if we look back to where I just copied the link at the top of the page, they had editing permissions. This is what came up. But when I clicked send and I copied that link from there, this is what comes up. So you can see it's a really big difference. So just to review, when you have a Google Forum, just click send and you can choose any of these options here. The option that I just showed you was copying the link. Now that is docs, sheets, and forums. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I created a video already where I show you how to share Google Slides, a copy of Google Slides the right way. So if you want to check that out. There's a link in the description so that you can find that video as well. Now you probably noticed that the process for sharing each of these Google resources is really similar. So you'll find that once you've done it with one resource a couple of times, it's going to get easier and faster to do. Now I hope this information is helpful to you. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Then don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I release new videos every single week just for teachers. And I don't want you to miss out on any of my latest teaching tips and resources and ideas. So thanks for watching and until next time, happy teaching.